Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't know how many of you are following Edward Umling, U-M-L-I-N-G, Edward Umling. But I do believe this man is getting words from the Lord. They're very short. He just reads them out, and that's it. He adds no commentary or anything. I've shared one or two, maybe. Well, I want to share three in a row because they're very short. And I just suggest that if you believe this man hears from the Lord, you have for sure subscribed and do what you can. to Just go to his channel and watch him one right after another. You can get 10 in in like 12 minutes or maybe 15 minutes. And they're very, very prophetic and uh, well, you'll see. All right, so I'm going to let you listen to three here. I got them lined up. This first one is called, O Babylon, O Babylon, I mourn for thee. Okay, listen to Mr. Edward Umling. There is a stench that has come up into my nostrils, says the Lord. It is a stench from my people. They have not cried out. They have not spared. Therefore, I will not spare, says the Lord. They have not mourned, and they have not wept. So I will not mourn, and I will not weep, says the Lord. For these are the days of vengeance that I take upon my adversaries. But my holy ones will receive my grace. These are the days that I will shake, and I will shake, and I will shake the earth, and I will move my people out of complacency, says the Lord. I will drive them from one place to another. I will move them, I will shake them, and I will relieve them of what they are holding on to. They shall take nothing but my grace with them, says the Lord. O oh Babylon, O oh Babylon, how I mourn for thee. How I waited, but you would not return to me. O oh Babylon, O oh Babylon, how I placed my grace upon thee. But now it is no more. O oh Babylon, O oh Babylon, I mourn for thee. Okay, that's the end of that one, this one. And notice he said that his his elect would have his grace. We're, that means we're going to be out of here. And Warn my us. people. Whoops. What no long-term planning. Write this story. Oh, no long-term planning. The word from the Lord is oh. no long-term oh. planning. Warn my people. Oh, that went right on into the next one. Well... I think we need to play it then. Let's play it. It's called Be On Your Guard. Warn my people. No long-term planning. No long-term planning. The word from the Lord is no long-term planning. No long-term planning. Warn my people. Warn my people, says the Lord. My people should not focus on long-term planning. That means pertaining to the things of this life. Yeah. God's people in the short term should focus on their spiritual walk with the Lord. Amen. Through fasting, prepared obedience, and humble prayer before the Lord. Amen. Take heed to yourself and be on your guard so that you're not weighed down with the cares pertaining to the business of this life. Warn my people, says the Lord. Amen. That that was truly a word from the Lord. There are people plan still planning stuff like we're going to be here. Short-term plans, like what you're going to do next week or even next month. Maybe, but no more than that because you got to hear... Oh, I lost the one about Christmas. And I honestly believe we're not going to be here. My f 
friend, one of y'all, has had that emails me a lot of videos to share. Um, she's had a couple of dreams that had to do with Christmas time. People singing Christmas carols. Oh, one of them, she was young. She was young. So it's like she was already taken out and put back here to help. People were singing Christmas songs. They were in a train being taken somewhere. People were being hauled off in a train. She was inside administering to them. And next thing she knows, she's outside the train. And I don't remember what the other part said after what she was doing outside the train. So, the his word and then another dream she had before this his word confirms that so anyway i want to play this one for you my messengers come by night and day now and it's only 16 seconds my son write this story quickly quickly oh my people shall my messengers come by night and by day for the time of my redeemed has come, says the Lord. The time of my, my redeemed has come. Does that mean the first fruits is coming? Okay, this was dated August 2nd. Okay, I should have been telling you the dates. I apologize for that. I already X'd out of the other ones. But you can go to Edward Umling's channel and find the ones we listen to and get the dates because some of them were the 24th okay now this this one here it was from july oh this is the one about december 25th and it's from july the 19th okay here it goes my son this christmas season will be unlike any other in history. Mark your calendars. December 25th in America shall be unrecognizable. The words to the very songs they sing will change. They shall be words of lamentation and weeping. Hear me now, O my people, though Moses and Samuel stood interceding for this people. Yet my mind could not be turned with favor toward them. My people have removed my name from Christmas. Now I remove myself from this people. Send them out of my sight and let them go, says the Lord. Whoa. So it will be unrecognizable. What will be going on? You can only imagine all the prophecies that's been taking place. Earthquakes, volcanoes, storms, pestilence, famine. People won't be buying Christmas decorations or presents either. They'll be spending their money on what food they can get a hold of by Christmas, I imagine. Except for those who have stocked up. Anyway, like I said, and this particular one got five thumbs down. Like this couldn't happen by Christmas? Seriously? Or would never happen? <laughs> Look, I know a lot of people love Christmas time, but... Jesus does not like the way it is celebrated. It, like he said, his name was taken out. People say Merry Xmas so they don't have to write out Christ. That's been going on for a while. I mean, a long time. And instead of making it all about him, it's all about us. You know, I always thought giving gifts to others was like us 
We couldn't give the present to Jesus, so we give them to each other, those in our immediate family. But some people have made it a, a oh, I got to get something for so-and-so and so-and-so. And so, oh, and I can't forget so-and-so. And then they have work people. And, and then it's money, money, money. It's so commercialized. And Jesus said he hated the paganism of Christmas. Well, now hear what he has to say. All right. I'm going to end it there. You can go to Edward Umling's channel. Just all you got to do is click on one link for one of these videos. Listen to the ones you like or don't want or, you know, want to hear again. And click on his name and you'll go right to his channel. You know how to do that unless you're brand new. You just click on the name of a channel and you'll go right to their channel. And you can listen to all his videos. That the Lord has given him over the past several months. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Over myself. My computer. And my internet connection. And over each and every single one of you. And your devices. And your internet connections. So as long as the video is up, we can watch it and stay connected on these channels that are teaching us the truth. I pray that you are watching only videos that are teaching you the truth and not tickling your ears. With that, I'll say pray. That you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.